Hello, my name is Fotios Ambaziotis and I'm a hepatologist working in Adam Rooks Hospital and a group leader in the Cambridge Stem Cell Institute. My research focuses on liver disease, which is a leading cause of death worldwide. However, for end-stage disease, the only available treatment is liver transplantation, which is significantly limited by the number of available organs. To overcome this challenge, in the lab we use an approach called regenerative medicine. We can take small pieces of liver tissue, grow out and grow out liver cells in the lab. These cells are quite remarkable. We can either inject them directly in damaged organs to repair them, or we can use them to make spare artificial organ parts to replace a whole part of the organ if it has been damaged beyond the repair. Now, although this is very exciting, this approach is um, still a little bit far from the patients. Why? Because artificial organs are never perfect, whilst cells can only repair damage up to a certain level, up to a certain threshold. Recently, however, to work around this problem, what we have done is we have collaborated with Adam Brooks Hospital and we took whole human livers from, um, from organ donors, which were deemed not suitable for transplantation because they were mildly damaged. We collaborated with our transplant surgeons and our radiologists. We injected these damaged organs with our cells and we showed that we can repair and refurbish them and render them suitable for transplantation. Now we are very excited about this approach. Why? Because this means, if this were, uh, because this is an approach that we know works, and this means that we could translate it very quickly into patients and start clinical trials even imminently. If this were successful, this could mean that we could significantly increase the number of organs available for transplantation, reduce waiting times on the liver transplant waiting list, but most importantly, set a foundation for this approach to be used in other organs, such as heart or lungs or kidneys, which would advance the field of organ transplantation in general.